Just ask me about John 17, 3. You want to ask me about yeah, that? So, so I understand that. So why is it when, when it says the only God? Yeah. So why, why, you why, why, you know, I understand that you could take it out of context, but can you just tell me the correct context? I don't think you want to know the answer. Do you really want to know? No, I, I sincerely Come do. on, man. You're not pulling my leg, are you? No, 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 no. Okay. I, I'm very, All right, so let me walk you through. Or defend anything. I'm just here to clarify a couple of things. Now, obviously, John 17 is a prayer that starts at verse 1. So I'm going to break <clears> it down <throat> for you, right? Now let me break it down, no. if you don't mind. Let's see if you really want to listen, okay? John 17, verses 1, 2, and 3. Let's stop. Okay, it says, And looking up to heaven, Jesus prayed, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, that your Son may glorify you. Okay, now, before we move on, you got to be honest with me here. Can a prophet say, Allah, glorify me so that I can glorify you? Glorify me the way I glorify you? I, I don't think so. Secondly, do you agree Jesus is the Son of God whom God glorifies in the same way the Son glorifies him? Within the context of your belief, yes. Now I'm talking about I you mean, as a Muslim who's quoting John 17, 3. Because not just my belief. My belief, yeah, I know he's the Son of God. Yeah, but what is on paper? Yes, yes, I, 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 I agree. Is, is If I were to read this and I was looking at Islam and Christianity... Would mm -hmm. I be convinced Muhammad is a prophet, reading Jesus saying he is the son whom God glorifies in the same way that the son glorifies him when Muhammad rejects that? Yeah. I, I, okay, I, good. I, so far you would think It's very it. conflicting. Good. Now then it says, you have given him authority over all flesh. Now again, Jesus has authority over all flesh. Everything that's flesh, you and me, belongs to Jesus, is under the control, sovereignty, the lordship. This is what we call rububiya, authority over all mm -hmm. flesh. That means even Muhammad is under Jesus. Now, I'm reading the Bible and the Quran, and I'm not Christian Muslim, and I look at what Jesus says here, would I conclude that Muhammad is teaching the same thing that Jesus teaches in John? No, of course not. Okay, so, and then it says, given him authority over all flesh, that he may, the son may, give everlasting life to all that you, to all those whom you give him. You see that in verse 2? Oh, I see. I thought that he was for the Father. No, read it again. It says, okay. Okay. you yeah, have yeah, yeah. given him, him, you, Father, have given him, who's him, the Son, authority over yeah. all flesh, that he may give everlasting life to all whom you have given him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So who yes, gives everlasting right. life? The, the Son. Okay, now, what kind of power must someone have to take believers, all believers from all time, and give them the life that never ends and make them deathless and incorruptible. Uh, it has to be divine. Okay. Then we come to, and this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ, whom you sent. And Father, I have glorified you by finishing the work that you sent me to do on earth. Now, Father, glorify me together with yourself with the glory I had with you before the world was. So if I read verses 1 to 5, Jesus affirms the Father is the only true God, and he is, but that he's the mm -hmm. Son who is one with the Father in his glory and in his divine power to do what only God can do, unless you believe a creature besides God can give everlasting life to all believers throughout all history. Does a creature do that according to the Bible? No. Uh, no. So why are Christians wrong to assume, yes, of course Jesus is going to acknowledge the Father is the only true God. What kind of God is the Father? A fake God? So you're saying in that context, it's comparing it to like pagan gods? He's not saying that he's the only true God to the exclusion of the Son. He just told you he's the Son who is glorified by the Father the same way the Father is glorified by the Son. He's the Son who can do what only God does, give everlasting deathless life to all believers, and the Son who shares the same glory with the Father even before the world was created, something not said of any angels or humans in the Bible. Right, and, and it also talks about uh, him being existent before anything else. That's right there. So yeah. that's why Christians, when you keep going, maybe to you it convinces you Jesus can't be God. To us it doesn't because we read context. Mm -hmm. Right, and that's what I was asking for was context because I wasn't able to find an answer that made sense to me at the time. So I thought I'd ask you. Now, what's your follow-up question to John 17? Okay, well, I have a comment because I have the Arabic version and yes. the English version. And when you were saying the word glorify in Arabic, it's yumejid, which can be like majid, which is one of the names. You could see somebody could be Abdul Majid. So Majid. I so see your point. And the Arabic yeah. is even stronger, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So here you're admitting, and I'm glad you're being honest with my scripture, like you want me to be honest with your Quran. You just admit 
it comes from Majid, one of the names of Allah, and Jesus saying that he possesses that glory, Majid, that Allah or the Father, I should say, possesses, yes. So there's nothing yeah. in verses 1 to 5 that show us that Jesus is not God, but a creature separate from God. In reality, it shows that he must be God to say what he says, to share in the glory of the Father and do what only God can do. Give never-ending deathless life to all believers. Okay, I see. So What's why then? Why then would it just say you, the Father? Why? Why would it give that sort of because exclusion? The, or, sure. I'm sorry, inclusion. Because the Son, the Son, part of being the Son, acknowledges who the Father is, just like the Father uh -huh. acknowledges who the Son is. Because if you go now to Hebrews chapter one in your Bible, there now the Father okay. calls Jesus God and says that Jesus is Lord, the Rub who created the heavens and the earth. This is what they do. The son acknowledges who the father is and praises him for that. The father acknowledges who the son is and praises him for that. And then Jesus says, even the spirit glorifies me, as did Jesus. But we'll get to that. But in Hebrews 1, now you have Arabic. You know in your Arabic Bible, the father calls Jesus, Ya Allah. What in Hebrews which verse? 1, verse 8. So You're right. It says, So do you believe the father? Says, yeah, Allah, it's the father talking to the son. Yeah, do you believe the father? Saying Jesus is Allah, Ya Allah, do you accept that? That he's calling him Ya Allah, the God, Hathayas? Within that context, yes. So it, it, in, in, in Greek, what, 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 what ha is the word? Ha ha it's the God, Hathayas, the uh -huh. God, which in Arabic is Ya Allah. <laughs> I see it in my in my version, yes. yes. And then if you read in 10, who's speaking to who? In verse 10, it's still the Father speaking to the Son. Do you see what the Father says to the Son? He says, at the beginning, O Lord. So now, not only does he call yes. him Allah, he calls him Rabb. Yes, you're right. كَمَا يَقُولْ أَنْتَ يَا رَبَّ أَنْتَ يَا رَبَّ But what did that Rabb do? He laid the foundation of the earth, um, and the heavens are the work of his hands. Yes, you laid the foundation of the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the creation of your hands. Wait, so the Father is saying it, it, Jesus created the heavens and the earth. Interesting. Yes, and it says it, it, it will go away like tefna i don't know what that means yeah. like it, it, it will, will wear out will or, well, 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 wear you will stay. but you remain they will wear out but your years you remain, are the yeah. same you remain the same and yours never end so the father just called jesus allah called him rob and said you the one who created the heavens and the earth you will wear them out they will wear out you remain the same your years never end so to us that's what we expect to find jesus acknowledging who the father is and praising him for that and the father acknowledging who the son is and praising the son for that Mm -hmm. Okay. That's why you're on a good path. And whenever you feel at peace to let me know you've come to Christ, you can do it privately. No, oh, I think I can tell you now. Oh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just find what I mean what I need to do. And I know oh. there isn't like the, the like a creed to recite. Okay, well, so. You're, so you you believe then that Jesus is Lord and your Savior and Son of God. I, I mean, I, I have to because I just have this strong feeling good, inside good, of me right, that, that just says that that just says that whatever in this book is some this is what I have to take. Okay, then here's how you get saved. This is what I need you to do because it's in Romans 10 verse 9. I'm going to tell you what okay. Romans 10 verse 9 says. It says that if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. Sorry, brother, hold on. <clears throat> You're making me cry, hold on. <clears throat> that if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, <clears throat> and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. So I just need to ask, because Paul says you have to do it with your mouth, with others listening. Yes. Um, do you believe that Jesus died on the cross? See, that's part of the faith. And here's what I have to say. I have to because I heard what Ahmed Didat and Zachar Naik had to say, and they both don't really make sense. And then the Quran comes in and says, oh, well, do you think he was crucified? Well, done. well joke's on you. It doesn't, you know, you've been fooled. Yes, right. And doesn't really give any evidence, doesn't mention Paul, doesn't mention any anybody. So I, I yes, I, I yeah, believe it. If you, if you do and it's not compulsion, then and it's okay. Mm -hmm. So then that means you believe when he died, he died for you to save you. And forgive you from your sins. Yes. And you believe God raised them on the third day? Yes. And you I, believe I've he's, read that. So you believe he's also alive in heaven now? Yes. And he will come again in that body to reign on earth? Yes, definitely not to break the cross and kill the pig. And then you believe Jesus is Lord then? Yes. So then all you say, and you will just say it, and you can say it in Arabic and English, whatever you want, God answers all language, uh, language, say, Jesus, I confess you are Lord. 
and I believe God raised you from the dead. Can you confess that? Yes, I prefer to do it in Arabic do because it. it's just yeah. well, yeah, yeah, yes, who I must see and I tell if in like in like Ibn al Ab well Ilah or in in like I come to me in the Amwat three a yom at Talit. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 